This is Dr. Grace Cox with msrelief.com, and I'm very excited that I'm with Dr. Balshi today. And again, he's willing to answer questions so that all of, all of you can see the answers. Okay, I, I know that we have, um, you, I've asked you these same questions a lot, but I want to make sure that everybody, if this is the first time they've watched a video, that they'll know the answer. Sure. So I'm wondering what, if you could just tell me just briefly what the process is that you're doing with me. Okay, so what we're going to do today, stem cell therapy, is where we take stem cells from your own body, wake them up because they exist in a hibernation, so to speak, state. And so once we take a little fat from you, we process it, we isolate the stem cells, and then we activate them with your own platelets. And then once those stem cells are activated, we give them back to you typically through an IV. And then they circulate through your whole body and they're attracted to anything that's damaged, decayed, broken. All of those cells that are suffering give off a signal and stem cells are attracted to that. And then once they get there, they carry out this repair process. Thank you so much. That was one of my questions was how do they find that damage? I mean, how do they know that yeah, it's similar to when you have an infection, white blood cells in your body, part of your immune system, are attracted to that. Everything gives off these sort of like hormone chemicals. When a cell suffers, they release a little chemical into the bloodstream, and stem cells are attracted to that. Okay, okay. See, and I know, you know that this is my 10th stem cell treatment, and I have experienced such a um, positive results. I, um, my last MRI was, I, I saw that the, um, the scar tissue, the white spots, the scars on my neck and spine have been completely taken care of. They're completely gone. And now I also saw on that MRI that my, um, that I have an active lesion still in my head, the head that is influencing my ability to sit up straight and stand up straight. And I know it's still there. So I'm hoping that I will, that this will continue to heal that, to find that area and heal, right, right. and heal. Okay, um, I, um, I talked last time about how the, um, that we're seeing more attention being brought to stem cell treatment, and I'm wondering, do you, okay, so tell me that again. So, say, what are you seeing with the increase? There is no question about it. Stem cell is now becoming, you know, talked about at least. Um, it was looked at as if it was some kind of, you know, voodoo medicine or, but now that I think because so many people have tried it and so many people have had success that it has to start being, you know, in the forefront. Do you, have you seen, is there anybody that you know of that is working on getting this FDA approved so that maybe insurance might start paying for it? There are little things that actually are already happening. Uh, one of which is in podiatry, foot care, for non-healing wounds. There is a product available that's FDA approved that is stem cells, basically. Okay. So there is some movement and a lot of hope, and that's covered by insurance. Nice, nice, because I know I am so grateful. I can't, words can't, I can't say how grateful I am that my mom is paying for this um, treatment. But people don't have that yeah. blessing in their lives to. We need insurance companies right, to, to, to step kick up. in, right? Right, right. Okay, so so remind me again. Um, once once the stem cells are put back in my body, how long do they do their healing? The life cycle of a stem cell is, from what we understand, about six months, and so they're active, going to work for six months. They actually can double themselves which would add another six months or so on. So we don't really have an end point, but the majority of that work that's done appears to take place in the first like six months from treatment. Okay, so then what happens to the stem cells after they're done? They just get recycled. Yeah, sort of like every, every day we have new red blood cells being born and some are dying off. Okay. So they do, they have the same process. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. That's real. That's all I. That's all the questions okay. I have for now. So I thank you so much for this opportunity. I you know I look at this um, opportunity as 
a, a journal, a personal journal. That's a web blog. A blog is what it's all about. And so you guys visit me on msrelief.com and I'll keep you posted. And so take care. Bye. Thank you.